Hi everybody, my name is Horia Perutu and I am very excited to teach you about how to get started with Miro's webhook service. So let's dive into a demo to show you how an app with running webhooks works and then we'll take you step-by-step step on how to recreate it. Let's dive into the demo. I have this, this uh, board which talks about the six steps uh, to get started with webhooks. So now if I do new sticky says hi, or even a new square, and let's just say I wanna delete that. Um, I already have my app running locally, and you can see I've gotten these delete events, and then I've also gotten these update events. And you can say new square, so this was that update event. And then let me make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. So yeah, you can see new square, um, and then we also have this rectangle and then new sticky says hi. So these are just a couple of the events that have been emitted based on what I did on the board. So that was a quick demo. Now let's dive into how to actually set them up. First step first is to create the mirror app. So let's go ahead and do that. And we have to add our environmental variables. Also, don't worry too much about the code you're going to see. Uh, I'm going to link this app in the description, but I have this um, app basically already and working. All you have to do is uh, change this sample.env to be just .env and then run that. And then that's pretty much it. Cool. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to recreate this code by running create mirror app. And that's how I created this code. So we'll go into VS code and then clear npx uh, create Miro app at latest. So this is just gonna scaffold some code for me and I'm gonna call this webhook demo. And then I'm just gonna pick the REST API with express option here, but you could also use Next.js here. Um, but yeah, you'll need some sort of backend framework. And then I'm gonna pick JavaScript. All right, so in just a couple seconds, uh, Create Mirror App is going to scaffold this code. It's ready now. So you can see uh, Create Your Preconfigured App by clicking the following link. I'm just going to open this in my browser. So here it is. <clears throat> so I'm going to create this in my dev team here, and I'm just going to call this web to Webhook Demo Horia. And I'm just going to copy this client ID and client secret. Um, and let's do this, so web demo, and then here it is. I'm gonna copy that client ID. So this is just the .m file and client secret. That's pretty much it. So basically we can go into webhook demo, npm i, so that's just installing the dependencies. And then uh, I can run npm run start. I won't do that now, but here is our app. So we have an express app. So we've done our create Miro app and we've added in the environmental variables. So we are done with step one. So now step two, um, we're actually going to combine step two, three, and four in one. And what we're gonna do is, all we have to do is go ahead and go into my Miro webhooks uh, GitHub example and just copy and paste this whole file. Um, and what it's doing, I'll explain in just a second. So I'm just gonna do that. So we've added this app.use express.json to make sure we can parse uh, the Miro request. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna log if there's a webhook event. And the most important part actually is actually responding to the challenge. So if we do have a challenge, then we do res.send and then we return that challenge. Cool. And that's all within uh, our webhook documentation. Um, but basically, yeah, to, to actually create a web sub subscription, you need to return uh, the challenge. Cool. Um, so that is good to go. So we've done step two. We created the post route just by copying and pasting that code. We've uh, parsed the JSON request by using app.use express.json. And then uh, we've returned the challenge uh, by using res.send requ request body. And now we have to create the web subscription and we need an access token, board ID and callback URL. So let's get the access token first. And to do that, we are going to actually uh, install this app. So this app is called Webhook Demo Horia. 
and we're gonna install it on our dev team. So dev team is this one, and that's the same team that this board is in. Um, and we wanna make sure that we install this app on the same team that the board where we're gonna have the webhooks is situated in. So I'm gonna do that, and now I have this access token. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here and paste in this new access token. And that is gonna be used to authenticate my API request. Cool, so we have the access token. So now we need the board ID. That's an easy one. It's just this right here. And then paste that in there, that looks good. And then the callback URL. The callback URL um, is essentially has to be a live hosted URL. And that is where Miro is gonna send its webhook events to. And right now we're just gonna use ngrok to have a forwarding address. So in my VS code, I have ngrok set up. And what, I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run ngrok HTTP 3000. Um, and you're gonna need to install ngrok on your computer if you wanna follow along. Um, but once you do that, once I do ngrok HTTP 3000, I'll be able to forward any requests that are coming to localhost 3000 to this live URL, uh, which, is, which is generated by ngrok. So here it is. And I'm gonna just copy and paste this and add this into here, into my callback URL. And that's pretty much it. So we have our board ID, callback URL, and status. So that's more or less it. Uh, board ID, and then callback URL. So let's do it. Step five, this is the real deal. If we get a 201, that means we have successfully created the WebHub subscription. So here it is, and we got a 400. Let's see actually what that uh, error is. It's, oh yeah, it's because we didn't start the server. Awesome, so we see we got a 201. That means we have successfully started the webhub subscription. So let's test it out. So here is the challenge that I'm getting back. And essentially, uh, if I move this around, I've created the webhook subscription, and now once I delete this, I should be able to get a delete event. Let's see if I've gotten that. Yep, you can see I've gotten this delete event. And if I create a new sticky, hello, new webhooks incoming. Um, so if I see that, I should see this event as well. So hello, new webhooks incoming. So that's pretty much it. I've shown you in six easy steps how to get started with webhooks. So you want to create the Miro app and then just copy and paste some code to create a post route, parse the JSON request, return the challenge, and then that's pretty much it. You can build that API request. Once you create your webhub subscription, you should be ready to go and up and running. Thank you so much for watching and let me know in the comments below what you need help with and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.